we're going to create a web application test today. So from the dashboard, navigate to web application test, we can give it a name here. I'm going to leave a description, I'm going to add the target. This is the same target as we saw on the basic network scan. We can create a schedule and add notifications, but we're not going to do that today. Under discovery, we've got our scan type again. We can leave it on common ports. For the scan type, we're going to run a complex scan to scan for all web vulnerabilities. Under the report option, we're going to ignore everything there, leave it as it is. And under the scan type, we're going to leave it as default. We're going to save that. Go back into our scan and we're going to launch it. Okay, so the scan is now running and it's completed. This time 22 minutes to 10 minutes longer than our basic network scan, but this was much more complex. Okay, so we've got a few different vulnerabilities. We've got medium, low and informational. We've got our CVSS scoring as well, and also the family of these two. So we can see here that directories have been identified and they are browsable web directories as it has reported. So on the right hand side we've got the CVS scores as well. We've also had the backup file disclosed. As you can see here from the output it has found a .back file and it is accessible. So if we were to open this in a new tab it will actually allow us to download that file. So obviously there could be a lot of sensitive information inside here. Um, it's not something that we will want to have disclosed to the public. So that will obviously be need to be resolved fairly quickly. Okay, so we've got a login page here. which we can navigate to and actually log into. Again, this is over HTTP, so the credentials aren't going to be encrypted. There we go, so we've got web server transmits clear text credentials. There's no SSL, we're running the login page on port 80, so we're just running through straight HTTP. And again, just having a look through here, See a few more details for these vulnerabilities identified. We have the option to generate some reports. In the previous example on the basic network scan we did generate these reports. Uh, this time around we won't be doing so but it is something that you can do 